you know, today I'm removing these fuel injectors on my 1983 300SD because I want to test them. I want to see how well they're spraying. I want to see how well balanced they are. I want to see the spray patterns. And, you know, this is one of those jobs I never really look forward to doing that much because it tends to be messy and smelly. So this past week, Jerson and I set out to find a cleaner way, a faster way. And literally, after testing my prototype over here today, I have never tested a set of fuel injectors so quickly as I did earlier this afternoon. So I'm going to pull these five injectors out. And just as a preview to what I'm working on, remember, this is a prototype of our new design on the diesel injector pressure tester. I'm going to bring you over to the bench. I'm going to run through the whole sequence of testing five injectors. And let's see how long it takes. Well, here it is, folks. Version 3. Okay, I'm going to call it version 3 of our bench mount pressure tester. You can see I've eliminated a bottle. And everything now is one bottle. There's no longer a reservoir tank attached to the pressure tester. It's separate. And we use a pickup and a filter, a real fine filter down in the bottom of this jar so that we are sucking fuel out of the jar and as I'm testing, it's spraying out through the fuel injector and it's spraying back into the bottle. So the fuel just rotates through. This way you eliminate the filling and the emptying, the filling and emptying during the whole testing process. This also will mean that there's a filter down there, always a very, very fine filter that's protecting uh, the pump and your fuel injectors from any contamination. So watch now as I do this. I've got these five injectors. I laid them out in the order they came out. There's one, two, three, four, five. I'm going to show you the clock. And then we're going to go ahead and we're going to test all five of these and to see if we come up with any bad ones. Because I'll kind of explain very quickly. But the idea is how fast can I test five and get a pretty good idea whether these need to be rebuilt, clean, or whether I can use them as is. Okay, take a look at the clock. It's just coming up on 3.30. I filled up the jar. I've set up all my hoses. I'm going to pump the fluid through until I get all air out. Now I know I've thoroughly bled the pump. And I'm going to hook up number one. And we'll tighten it down. Okay, and I'll lift this up and seal it. Okay, make sure this is tight. Okay, we're going to bring it up here. We're going to watch the release pressure. I'm going to take a look at the spray pattern. Okay, it's releasing at 2,000 PSI. Okay, the spray pattern is pretty even and pretty fine. So that looks pretty good, but it is kind of spraying a little on the high side, okay? I mean, that's the high side for a turbo diesel. So now I'm going to release the pressure. I'm going to take and take this one off. What's nice now when I release this and move this down like this, when I remove this injector, it kind of drips right into the bottle, okay? There's number one. Okay, let's watch the gauge. Up, 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 up. Oh, over 2,000. Once again, it's got a nice spray pattern. It's got a nice chirp to it. So those two are pretty well balanced, even though they are a little on the high side.
goes number three. Coming up, 2000. Nice chirp, nice fine mist spray pattern. It's fairly even, although it is shooting off the side a little bit. This one shows signs of some wear because it's shooting off to the side. So we're going to take a closer look at that tip. Number four, watch the pressure. That one's releasing at about 2,050 PSI. Now this one is pretty much squirting straight down. Not a, a fan pattern, but it's pretty much squirting straight down doesn't have quite the chirp that the other three had. So that's a question mark. Here comes number five. Fifteen hundred. Oh, look at that. <laughs> this one's pretty bad. Look, look at it squirting. It's literally squirting and it's not chirping at all. Look at this. I'm bringing it up to about Oh, right around 1800 and it's leaking down very badly. I'll leave this one on and we'll take a look at a couple of these and discuss some of these results. But in less than 10 minutes, I have finished testing five diesel fuel injectors. It's now 334. I want to revisit number five here. and Maybe you'll be able to see better what I'm talking about in terms of this is not spraying. It's literally squirting. I'm not joking. So watch closely. I'm going to bring it up to about 1,700 PSI. Can you see that? It's squirting, and it's squirting off to the side. So this is real bad. Can you imagine how much fuel you'd be wasting running down the road? You know, that's the thing about these old diesels. They'll run almost anything in any amount of fuel, but your fuel consumption will go to pot when you have bad fuel injectors, and you'll also be losing a lot of power. Now I'm going to take a look at number three and number four again because those were the other two that were in question. Let's take a closer look at these tips. Can you see the tip there? See how concave that is? How much metal has worn away? That's supposed to be perfectly flat. So that usually means that this tip's been leaking fuel and the fuel's been burning around there taking away metal. This is not a good looking injector nozzle tip. And look at this one. This one's just as bad. So these injectors need to be rebuilt. There's no way that cleaning these is going to help when they have these type of tips that are severely worn. If you've tested as many injectors as I have, you probably understand why I'm so excited about this. Look, in like six, seven minutes, I tested five injectors, and other than just a few drips of fuel right here, look at this, this is all clean. All this hose is going out one of the windows in my shop. I didn't have to breathe the fumes. So I tell you, this is pretty exciting even for me. Now, for those of you who want to know about this, this will probably be available in the middle of February 2019. And if you have one of my older style pressure testers, we're going to make a retro kit for that so you can set it up so it can run on one bottle like you see here.